And South Africa's car makers aren't the only ones dealing with labor issues. The union at Hyundai Motors has also launched a partial strike on Tuesday. That's after negotiations with management on wage increases and other benefits fell through. Shane Hahn reports. Production at Hyundai Motors' largest plant here in the city of Ulsan have come to a screeching halt. Unionized laborers set down their tools on Tuesday for two rounds of two-hour strikes and will do so again on Wednesday, demanding higher wages and improved employee benefits. Among their demands is a nearly $120 monthly pay increase and 30% of the company's record profits last year to be distributed to workers. They also want the retirement age to be raised by a year to 61, a bonus worth two months' salary for workers with at least 40 years of continuous service, and nearly $10,000 for each child of every worker that chooses to bypass college and enter the workforce. Collective bargaining negotiations have taken place over the past three months, but the justified demands of our hard-working laborers have been ignored. Management has failed to change its position, so it has left us no choice but to strike. When four basic goals, secure basic living wages, achieve justified distribution, obtain stabilized employment, and procure a better work environment. Company officials are calling the walkout an extreme measure that benefits workers in no way. But management is used to this sort of action. Hyundai's union has gone on strike in 22 of its 26 years of existence. The walkout comes as Hyundai and its sister company Kia Motors face stiffer competition from its Japanese rivals because of a weakening yen currency. Following two days of partial strikes, workers will return to the job on Thursday when more negotiations are set to take place. But if talks with management fall through at that point, union officials warn that an all-out strike could occur sometime next week. Shane Hom for CCTV, Ursan, South Korea.